We've got business at that farm. It belongs to me now. You do not own that property? Oh, yeah? Then just who owns the land, old man? You, maybe? The dead. Well, it's October, every horror fan's favorite time of the year. And what a better way to celebrate this spooky month by reviewing two horror movies a week. And to kick off the festivities, let's take a look at a VHS horror classic, Demon Wind, released in 1990. You know, you not only got an attitude problem, you're also out of your fucking mind. You ought to learn to respect the elders, boy, before one of them hurts you. The strange and brutal deaths of Corey's grandparents has haunted him for years. Determined to discover the truth, he has returned to the desolate region where they lived, along with a group of friends to try and uncover the mystery. Ignoring warnings from the locals, which is always a great idea in horror movies, Corey and his friends soon learn that the legends are true, as the demon wind possesses and destroys them one by one. A creepy fog keeps bringing them back to the farm, not allowing them to escape. Can Corey find a way to stop the demon wind? Skinny little chicken shit, I'll shove that karate crap up your ass. Be my guest. Gentlemen, easy now. Easy now, don't hurt the rabbit. There's something deadly in the air. Man, you gotta love a movie that's title and tagline sound like bad fart jokes. Demon Wind is an entertaining and fun horror flick that is part Evil Dead, part Night of the Demons. It has nice production values and a decent budget. The special effects are effective and the gore is definitely there. There's some sleaze to the film, including topless demons and demons who like to grope their female victim's breasts. The characters are all stock for the genre and the acting is a mixed bag. One character I found to be highly entertaining was the martial arts magician, played by Stephen Quatros of Shock'em Dead fame. Next time you little faggot, I'll drop you like a bad habit. Shazam! Idiots. I love how no one acknowledges their friend being turned into a doll and killed. Even better is her boyfriend's facial reaction to the moment. Whatever Sierra isn't going to let us go. The plot is pretty basic, but there's a lot of batshit insane things going on in the film. Like when one of the demons is defeated and reverts into a baby, and then turns into a dove. Demon Wind was a bit of a rarity for a while, having never gotten a proper DVD release. The VHS was a popular rental in video stores, thanks to its awesome holographic cover. It has since been released on Blu-ray and DVD, and hopefully it will start to get more attention and appreciation. As cliched as Demon Wind can be at times, it's still a highly enjoyable demon flick that packs enough blood, boobs, and bad dialogue to become a cult classic. It tends to get bad reviews from critics, but if you watch it on the grounds of it being a cheesy, incoherent B-movie, it actually delivers the goods. They're playing our 
song. All right. Let's dance. <laughs> 